So in this video, we are going to get a quick review on two topics. One is interference. The other one is Young's double slit experiment. Okay, we have y1 equal to a1 sine omega t and the other y2 is equal to a2 sine omega t plus phi. Okay, so here a1 and a2 are the amplitudes and this is omega t is the phase of first wave omega t plus phi is the phase of the second wave so phi is the phase difference okay now on superposition we get the resultant wave y is equal to y1 plus y2 okay now here the amplitude of the resultant wave it is given by the expression a square is equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus twice a1 a2 cos phi okay so this is the expression for uh, the amplitude of the resultant wave okay now intensity is proportional to amplitude square so in terms of intensity this, this can be written as i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus 2 root i1 i2 cos phi okay do remember that this phi is the phase difference between the two waves undergoing superposition okay now for maxima for maxima that is for maximum intensity or maximum amplitude this cos phi should be equal to plus 1 okay so that is phi is equal to twice n pi where n is equal to 0 1 2 and so on okay now similarly for minima okay cos phi is equal to minus 1 or phi is equal to twice n minus 1 into pi where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. Now, if you substitute these values over here, you get A max, the maximum amplitude as A1 plus A2 and minimum amplitude as A1 minus A2. Okay. Similarly, I max as root I1 plus root I2 square and uh, I minimum as root i1 minus root i2 square now moving on to the next topic that is the young's double slit experiment ydse so let us quickly observe the the structure or the experimental arrangement so these are the two slits s1 and s2 okay this is the screen okay the screen is at distance capital d the distance between the two slits is small d okay and this is some point p this is the center of the screen this distance is y okay so distance of maxima if p is maxima distance of maxima from the center of the screen it is y n is equal to n lambda d by d okay this is the nth bright fringe okay where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and on similarly this is for maxima okay for minima or dark fringe the distance is y n dash is equal to twice n minus 1 lambda d by twice d okay where n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on okay here n starts from 0 as already discussed in the few minutes back okay there is one more term called the angular width okay that is suppose here we are getting a bright fringe okay suppose this is a bright fringe okay so this this angle formed at this this is suppose this angle is represented by some angle theta so this angle is called the angular width okay now this fringe width it is denoted by the symbol beta okay and we know that fringe width is lambda d by d okay now this is beta this is d so angle equal to arc length by radius so theta is equal to beta by d okay now beta is lambda d by d so this is lambda d by d small d divided by capital d small d is just slit separation capital D is the distance of screen okay so this D capital D capital D cancels out so this is lambda by D so this is the ex expression for angular width the question have been asked wherein uh, 
like this young double slit apparatus if it is immersed in water then what happens to beta what happens to this theta angular width see lambda it is inversely proportional to the refractive index okay so beta in medium it will be equal to beta in air divided by uh, mu refractive index of the medium okay so this is the relation through which you can calculate the fringe width in any other medium similarly this uh, theta angular width in medium will be angular width in air divided by refractive index of the medium okay and this is the reason this is Cauchy law okay now what happens if uh, suppose uh, a refracting medium of thickness t and uh, refractive index mu is introduced in the path of one of the rays or one of the sources okay in that case this uh, maxima or minima will shift okay that shift delta x it is given by the expression mu minus 1 t d by small d where this small t is the thickness of this refracting medium d is the screen distance small d is the distance between the two slits okay now what are the things that can be observed from this first thing is shift is independent of n there is no n here so whatever be the order of the fringe first fringe second fringe third fringe all fringes will be shifted by the same amount okay the other thing is this shift is independent of lambda that is wavelength that is if the light source is replaced one monochromatic source is replaced by some other monochromatic source the shift will remain same okay one more information regarding shift is number of fringes shifted because of introduction of this uh, uh, refracting medium number of fringes shifted it will be obviously shift divided by fringe width okay now shift is mu minus 1 t d by d and what is fringe width it is lambda d by d so this d by d cancels out so this is mu minus 1 t by lambda okay t by lambda so number of fringes shifted it is dependent on lambda wavelength but the shift is independent of wavelength okay so these are the few of the concepts important concepts related to the young's double slit experiment and interference and i hope this knowledge will be beneficial to you my best wishes to you good luck